Well, losing your voice is a difficult reality for many, whether that's to disease or injury. There are ways to save your voice, but it's oftentimes consuming and not always easy to do. But new technology is making that process easier than ever. And as THV 11's Ian Russell explains, you can do it right from your iPhone. The loss of communication is something that impacts those people in these populations uh, pretty significantly. For Hannah Peterson, losing your voice is an unfortunate reality for her patients. We do do a lot of voice and cognition rehab as well. That loss can be onset by many things, cancer, injuries, ALS. Saving your voice takes time, but it can be done. There's two different ways to do that, um, which one would be voice banking and the other would be message banking. Both involve repeating phrases and messages so your voice can be uploaded and used. Peterson says it can take thousands of takes though to get your digital voice but what if it didn't what if it only took 15 minutes if you miss that window of opportunity um, and your voice starts to decline then you may not get the exact voice that you really want in the recordings that's where your iPhone comes in a new feature from Apple allows you to create a personal voice that voice takes minutes to create and a little over 100 messages AI fills in the gaps it's huge for accessibility but there are some concerns as well we have to be able to separate uh, reality, the um, you know the AI from reality, and that that can be difficult. Philip Huff teaches cybersecurity at UALR and has been keeping a close eye on AI advancements. A major concern for him is fraud, especially if your iPhone and personal voice were to be used to scam someone. I think all of our lives are improved, but we also have to recognize the dangers um, that come when you can no longer distinguish the the uh, digital uh, fake from reality. Back at UAMS, Peterson is thinking of that as well, but ready to give her patients another chance at keeping their voice alive. I believe it's a tool that works and we should use it. I mean, the capabilities of AI are coming out now and I think it's gonna be helpful in a lot of different ways. In Little Rock, Ian Russell, THV 11 News. Ian, thank you. Apple says they'll release the feature before the end of this year.